keeping it with the McMahon family, you've worked with Vince for so long. Is there a certain lesson that you've learned from, from Vince McMahon that you take with you in your life? I've learned so much from that family, whether it's Stephanie, whether it's Vince, whether it's Triple H. Like, it's funny, they all, they've all taught me different things. Um, I, I work most with Vince because I, when I was brought up onto the main roster in 2008, um, all the way up until last year, I, I, I had worked with him. And the one thing about Vince is that every time I, Vince taught me to fight. So when I had an idea, I would go to Vince and say, I'm passionate about this. I really want to do this. I believe in this. I went to him about the Hart Dynasty. I, I went to him in Nashville. I'll never forget it. It was in Nashville at the Bridgestone Arena. I knocked on his door. I got all my courage up and I had this idea for us to do the Hart Dynasty. And Vince had a few reasons as, as to why he, he always would challenge me to think about it. What, where is it going? What are we doing? What's the big finish? What's, what's the you know, big picture? But he taught me how to fight and, and, and fight for that idea. Mm. And so some of the greatest things that ever happened in my career, I had to fight for. And I would go to Vince. He wouldn't always like the idea, but I would fight for them. And I, if I believed in it and I felt it in my heart, he would give it a chance. And so when people come to me and they fight for something or they really want to do something in a match or they really believe in it, I think about like giving them a chance because Vince gave me chances. Mm. And I, like it, it's just been... Vince, he's, he's just, yeah, he's taught me how to fight for, for things. Everything that I've gotten, I was never really supposed to get. Mm. Um, I was never supposed to have a lot of the matches that were like career changing, career defining matches. I wasn't supposed to have them. Um, a lot of the moments that I've had in my career, I wasn't supposed to have. I don't even know if I really was supposed to have the job in WWE. I fought. I, fu I was rejected for five years. And that's why when I tell people with every door that closes and doors that are slammed in your face, take every no and turn it into a yes because I wasn't supposed to have this. Somebody like Bret Hart wasn't supposed to have this. Somebody like Rey Mysterio was told no, 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 no. Um, and, and for me, like, it's so important for people that are the ones that are deprived and denied and have struggled. They're often the ones that do the best work, whether it's Shawn Michaels. You hear these stories from Drew McIntyre is another one where yeah. it's like he got there and then he was <laughs> let go. And it's like you got to keep fighting and you got to keep trying and you got to prove everyone wrong. And and that's that might that may be the greatest lesson I've, I've learned from Vince is proving everyone wrong mm -hmm. um, and fighting for fighting for your dreams and fighting for what you believe in.